Virgin with VNA Arana, a lot going on. Gorgeous shot behind you, yes. but we're not going to be seeing many of those in the days to come. Yeah, you know, today was definitely a sunny, warm day, Terry, but cooler days are ahead, and the magic word rain is on the way. We definitely need it in the Bay Area. As you guys know, really, the entire state of California, we are under an exceptional drought, and it'll be nice to see some rain. Right now in San Francisco, though, pretty warm, 76 degrees. So we've been above normal thanks to some high pressure. We've had that ridge really dominating the past couple of days, keeping those temperatures in the upper 80s for some interior valley. San Jose right now, 82 degrees. It's definitely brought on a lot of sunshine, but we're going to see some drastic changes start to really make their way into the region in the next 24 hours. And here's the reason why. Take a look at satellite radar so you can see the system just to our north. In addition to the rain, we're also going to see a drop in temperatures and a change in winds because of a cold front. So right now, notice satellite radar right near the area is pretty calm. We've got those clear skies, but head Heading into Sunday, that's all going to change. So let's take a look at some of the daytime highs. We're going to see a significant drop in temperatures by as much as 20 degrees in some areas compared to today's daytime highs. Daytime highs in San Jose for tomorrow will be in the 60s. Los Gatos, upper 50s. San Francisco, upper 50s. It's finally going to feel like fall. But in addition to Sunday, we're also going to continue to see those cooler temperatures heading into Monday. So really, once that cold front drops down, we're also going to notice a shift in the winds by by tomorrow evening. So what can we expect in the hour by hour outlook? Well, Sunday notice by about four o'clock, the first to see the rain will be those who live north of the Golden Gate Bridge. So Ukiah, Santa Rosa, Napa, rain chances move in really late and then become a little bit more widespread heading into the dinner hour. So 6 30, 7, 8 o'clock, we could see a little bit of that rain also start to push through uh, further south into the Santa Cruz Mountains, a little bit for San Jose and areas further down into Monterey County as well. Now, once this system moves out, this is just the beginning of a pretty active weather pattern, so much so that I wanted to show you this great shot of Lake Tahoe. The reason I'm showing you this is because with that incoming cold front, we're expecting snow up there. And the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory. The highest accumulations expected above 7,000 feet. This could result in dangerous road travel. This is going to remain in effect through Monday. So if you had plans to head up to Lake Tahoe this weekend, you definitely want to check those travel conditions. Looking out ahead, just to give you an idea of what we're rounding out. So that first system passes through Sunday by the middle of the week, heading into Wednesday. The North Bay is going to see some of that rain. Then we'll get a little bit of rain pushed through on Thursday, but it gets really active heading into Friday and next weekend for the entire Bay Area. Where we're expecting widespread rain. This is going to be our best chance of seeing higher accumulations when it comes to the long range outlook. So your model right now, take a look at this. These are 10 day rain totals heading into Monday, October 25th. Finally seeing some accumulations, a couple of inches, a little bit higher up to the higher elevation areas in the North Bay. But Terry, I am so ready for these fall temperatures. Bring out the umbrellas, the cozy candles, all the good stuff. But of course, be safe on the roads because it's going to rain. And we all know how Californians get in the rain on the roads. Yeah, I mean, I'm from you, California, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Drive carefully, but oh, that rain's going to feel nice. It really is. Yeah, thanks a lot.